In tonight's military matters, the Navy arrived in Waco today. It's the second stop of a 14 city tour. There are events all week long leading up to the heart of Texas air show that's happening this weekend. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline was with the Rear Admiral during his morning meet and greets. She joins us now with why this week is so important. Hi Jillian. Doug, Navy Rear Admiral James Bynum is from Waco, Texas. When his dad was in grad school, that's where he grew up. So this week is a homecoming for him. There are about 150 sailors that will be part of the week's festivities, including school visits, Navy band performances, and an air show featuring the renowned Blue Angels this coming weekend. Bynum and met with McLennan County Sheriff Parnell McNamara and his staff first this morning. McNamara discussed his career as a U.S. Marshal and told historic family stories to the Navy leader, ending the meeting telling Bynum and the sailors about his love for the military. Rear Admiral Bynum then met with Waco ISD Superintendent Dr. A. Marcus Nelson, where they discussed many topics, including career opportunities for students in the military. Bynum says the purpose is to discuss why the Navy is an important part of the military here during Navy Week. One of the things we're facing is a, is a challenging world. And the folks uh, where we had a tremendous advantage in the past, we don't have that anymore. We have some near peer competitors. Uh, it's really a great power struggle now between, if you, if you look at China and the buildup they've made in their forces, as well as the re resurgent uh, Russia. Uh, Navy folks come by. I mean, I, I was overwhelmed. Wow, what an what a honor. Now, the Rear Admiral tells me anyone interested in a career with Navy planes is welcome to check out the displays and the air show at the TSTC Airport in Waco later this week. We'll be there for a full list of what's going on for Waco Navy Week. You can visit our website, kcentv.com. Doug, Leslie, sending it right back to you in our newscast. All right, thanks, Jillian.